Right, let's start by going through the whole body and in order to give us an idea of how our body works and how it can go wrong, the best way to do it is to break it down into different components, different systems. And so while some diseases affect all those systems, by understanding the body into different, breaking into different systems, and then by realizing that there's only a relatively small number of diseases that can affect each of those systems, you can get a, gri a grip on, a grasp on 90% of what goes wrong with the body in a very short space of time. The devil, of course, is in the detail, and why you spend years in medical school and training is for that last 10%, and also to know how to investigate, to know how to manage, and to know how to treat these conditions. But in terms of a general understanding to help with a, 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 a help with knowing when you get various symptoms, what they might be, and not to, not to worry unnecessarily, it's good to have an overview. The human body looks a bit like this painting. This is a painting of a human, and for many people, that's how confusing the body can be, but it doesn't have to be that way.